So on the left, you have per pixel lighting. It's very smooth, which is cool, right? Usually in most modern applications, you'd want to have per pixel lighting. But if you look at N64 games like Banjo-Kazooie, Mario 64, whatever, they didn't have that bandwidth to calculate per pixel. So instead, they did per vertex, where this vertex here would calculate a light, whether or not it's lit or not. This one would calculate that. And then all the pixels in between are just interpolated between those two color values. So you end up with lighting that seems a little bit more blocky and chunky and very distinct for that era of, of games. Yeah, ours is a bit more chunky. So you see like here, for example, the vertex lighting happening. This is like a, a great example of it, where you see these vertices are lit, but this one's actually more in the shadow. And then all these pixels are interpolated. So for more modern games, this would be like kind of unacceptable. It'd be like very inaccurate, but this is an artifact you saw all the time in in uh, those games of that era. And of course, we added our own fog as well. We did our own linear fog, 